Hello and welcome to this demonstration of version Workbench. In this session we'll examine the use of the Explorer tools, which allow us to compare versions, data selections, processing options and so on, across environments and back in time to previous changes, highlighting any differences. Finally, we'll show you how to prepare an OMW project that will allow you to review the versions and the differences contained within them. Version Workbench is a fat client only application as it relies upon fat client business functions to amend spec files and processing option data. Go to FastPath and type the VW command to open Version Workbench. The screen which follows looks a little like OMW. It also includes a welcome screen with links to a user manual and the Steltics website. You'll also notice the version of the software, and importantly, the Oracle seal of approval of version Workbench as a tool validated for releases 9.0 and 9.1. If you click the version Workbench URL, you will see the release information relating to the software. We frequently issue updates and enhancements, and you can download these from the website. If you go to the form exit and configuration, you'll see how the product integrates into OMW. First we create all the user roles, path codes and project statuses. The defaults button will help to get you started with this if you're unsure where to go. A license key is required for version Workbench. You can download the software, but you'll need the key in order to proceed. Every activity that you complete in version Workbench is logged. Click Logging and you'll see the next screen. Not only are adds and deletes to projects included, but also you'll see all processing option changes. In this example, you'll see the date, user, Andre, the field that was changed, in this case, AN8, which is the address number. This is extremely useful in terms of traceability. You might, for example, be FDA compliant and need traceability of all changes. We'll examine the other functionality in a later scenario, but for now we'll concentrate on the Data Selection Explorer and Processing Option Explorer. You'll see the tabs at the bottom of the screen. The Processing Option Explorer is a way of looking at snapshots of processing option values created in the system. At the top of the screen you'll see the snapshot name. Click it to see other snapshots. The snapshots, or freeze points as we call them, have associated data selections. In this example 42sys is all the 42 system code objects. As you can see in the example, one freeze point can contain data from multiple environments, which makes this a very powerful tool for comparison purposes between environments and changes between those environments. If we select the freeze point, you'll see the environment, object, version, description, tab, processing option text, processing option value, and data dictionary item. The QBE grid gives great flexibility. For example, if you want to see all sales order document types that can be created on the system, you can easily do that. Add the data criteria into the QBE grid, click Find, and you'll see all the order types that are there. You can export and import the freeze points. You can restore them in proof and final mode, giving great control over mass changes. We can also look across environments. Remove the environment value in the top right of the screen and replace with a star. And we can easily compare values across more than one environment. In this case, we're comparing DV and PY. The sequence button enables easier comparison, for example, 
if you need to export to such as Excel. Whilst this may be a useful way to compare processing option values between environments, there may be an easier way. First, clear the QBE grid of all data and go back to our original environment. You can use the Visual Assist, the Lookup, to choose, the, choose DV in this case. This time we'll ask the system to compare with another freeze point, our original 42 sys. We'll compare the 42 sys values in PY with those in DV. When we do this, a new tab opens called Option Compare. On the left side of the screen, we see the values stored in DV. On the right, the equivalent values in PY. The criteria of the comparison can be seen, highlighted at the top of the screen in blue. We can also choose to show differences only. In this case, there are 14 differences. Remember that these differences do not have to be between environments. They could be between PD today and two months ago. You'll also notice the colour coding of our 14 differences. This is the same colour coding as used in the original Visual Event Rule Compare tool. So looking at the differences, P4210, ZJD5 in DV has a dot, in PY it's empty. On another row you'll see a different version of the purchase order being referenced between DV and PY. It's clear that we have quite a bit of work to do with our versions to get some consistency between the two environments. Next, we'll look at exporting these differences into a new OMW project for comparison purposes. We then have a button to move all these differences from all the versions into an OMW project. We'll select the SCN01 project. The system tells me I'm about to add four versions to a project. I can even check them out simultaneously, but for now, I'll just add them. We'll pick this up once again in the next scenario. We'll now briefly look at the Data Selection Explorer. If I open my 42 sys, I can view all UBEs contained in each environment for me to query very easily. For example, to see all report versions that use the next status in their data selection, I just amend the QBE grid, click Find, and there they are. This is very useful and a powerful tool when you're adding or changing statuses in a workflow. Please tune in to our next movie to see the continuation of this scenario. I'm sure you'll already be able to see the power and the flexibility of version workbench. Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching this demonstration. To learn more, navigate to our website or send us an email.